I'm excited to share my very favorite low calorie high protein meals at the moment for my hungry girls. If there was an award for maximizing a calorie budget in this life, I would be the winner. I genuinely feel like this is a talent, it is a unique skill and I'm about to share that with you. And I'm also very humble, very humble about this magical skill that I've got. Because this was created out of the fact that I'm hungry and I cannot, even if I'm trying to lose fat, I cannot eat small meals. I need to make big, satisfying, delicious meals. And I eat, that's the way that you don't need willpower, you don't need discipline. When you're starving and you're feeling restricted, it's much harder. So I'm gonna share with you my favorite meals that I use for fat loss that are simple, delicious, and easy. I have already woken up, gone to gym. I did an upper body session today. I'm working on those pull-ups which is so hard. If you have a tip, please drop it down below. My goal by the end of this year is to do not one, but two pull-ups. And I'm working on the negative ones now, which apparently that is the best way to build up your strength to get, to get your first pull-up. But if you have any extra tips, drop them down below. Please, your girl needs help. And then I did a walk, I had a coffee at Seattle, my favorite, and now we are going to head into a high protein, low-cal breakfast, one of my favorites. It's a savory this morning, which is odd for me, I normally like a sweet, but let's not waste time, let's get straight into brekkie, let's do it! plate I'm gonna eat this I've got a lot of work to do and then I'm gonna catch up with you girls a little bit before lunch um, so I'll see you in my next meal okay girls so that's breakfast a lovely delicious satisfying savory meal for a change you know I'm a sweetheart no, normally I'm a sweetheart but I'm, I'm vibing savory breakfast I'm gonna eat this I have quite a lot of urgent things that I need to do and then I'm gonna catch up with you a little bit later before we do lunch, so I'll check you in my next meal. Okay girls, time for a little update on where I'm at. I haven't shared that much personal stuff on YouTube. I've been doing recipes, I did my fridge reorganization, even on Instagram, I actually haven't shared too much about what I'm doing. So over the past, four to five months I did something that I said I would basically never do like in a previous video I have been attempting to increase my calories again and do a little mini I wouldn't call it a mini bulk but a very slow steady manageable bulk um, I did, well, I attempted a bulk before and I think I just increased my calories too quickly and mentally, let me tell you, a bulk is so much harder than a cut. Like, you do not see 
like progress and if you do see anything it's not the kind of progress that you want to see you kind of just feel a bit fluffier you feel one thing is that you do feel stronger um, but from a physical perspective like looking in the mirror obviously on the scale you are wanting your weight to increase which for anyone that has had a dieting history this can be really challenging even me who I feel like I've made a lot of progress so it was really challenging the last time I did it but I know the science and I always go back to the science the best way to build muscle which has been one of my goals is to be at maintenance and even better in a slight surplus because otherwise it's already painfully slow to build muscle and so if you're not eating enough food it is almost insignificant okay so I've been I actually went on holiday in Italy I ate my heart out there I then came back and I was like right I want to through winter really build a bit of strength build some muscle and so for the past four months I have been doing that I've been showing up for myself I've been at the gym I've been pushing my weights as much as possible and I have been sitting at around 2122 which is a small surplus for me at my maintenance calories is around 19 2000 calories again my stats do not compare yours there are so many factors that go into this and so i gained over the last four months and granted i also was just away again for a week on holiday but actually my weight stayed the same um i gained almost four kilos shock and horror and let me tell you the mental process of this was so liberating if you are scared of gaining weight actually the best thing to do is to gain weight and you'll realize that actually it's not that bad actually it can be amazing and you really don't look that different so much of it is a mental game anyway this video is not about bulking um let me know if you want to do if you want me to do another video um to explain a little bit more in detail as to what i did but this video is about fat loss okay so after this these couple of months of bulking i have as you know gained a bit of um, fat and hopefully a bit of muscle as well uh, and so I'm ready to do a little fat loss phase and I'm only wanting to do a short one so that's why my calories are relatively low 1516 I'm only doing this for four weeks I have not gained that much fat so I really don't need to do a massive cut and to be honest I'm actually pretty happy with where I'm at where I'm at I don't feel uncomfortable even though I've gained a, bit, a, a couple of kilos I actually still feel great I still feel energized I'm just gonna lean down a tiny bit and then I'm excited to go back into building because I feel like I'm getting more addicted to that than I am to fat loss which used to be my main vibe so for the next four weeks, I'm going to be doing fat loss phase, one five to six to one six calories. And I'm going to be trying to also hit my 10K steps, do my training as normal, that never changes. And so that's where I'm at. I'm going to put some pictures up to show you what uh, I'm currently looking like. And then I'll also do a check-in if you girls would like at the end of my four weeks to talk about what progress I managed to make and how much fat loss I managed to achieve in the next four weeks. And I don't really have a specific number in mind. I'm just doing a full week. Whatever is the outcome of that, I'll be happy with that. And then I'm gonna get back into my muscle building phase. Because if you take one thing out of this video, the dream body that you want probably means you need to build more muscle so if you've been in that calorie deficit girl for years this is your sign to move out of it but on that note let's make a delicious low calorie high protein meal lunch time let's do it
is nice. Like a weightlifting shoe. Look at that. It's got like breathable elements. What else? Tracky. That forge. something on shall we how cute are these addy pants i feel like they are giving like sexy clown vibes but like in all the best ways love a good tracky shall we do a snack using my best friend's tikka masala cooking sauce aka Willy's. you don't have to do all the work like put in the spices and the sauces and all the hours to make a deliciously tasty sauce Woolworths is doing it for us amazing for meal prep as well you could basically make four patients four patients four portions of chicken curry and I'm going to show you I'm also doing a total cheat with pre-cooked rice so a really easy nice dinner idea for you and then I needed to remind you to drink your H2O another one of my hacks especially on a fat loss phase is to have a lot of water and flavored water is amazing too as long as it has no culls so this is the one I use by Simple Truth they have a whole lot of different flavors this is lime and ginger zero culls and it just makes drinking that water so much easier i literally drink one of these a whole a day i just keep it on my desk much more tasty than normal water it's last meal second last meal because we will be having a little dessert let's get into dinner make something delicious I'm ready. What am I tasting first? Chicken tikka masala curry. Half me, half Woolworths. With right. some savory rice. Here we go. You were MIA this video. Mm. You were you were liking that your goal was making all the food. I am. That's delicious. I highly recommend this. And I hope it's in the kitchen coach. <laughs> Don't start something, Pep. <laughs> we'll get it in there, okay? <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> On this full day of eating I hope it inspired you with some new meal ideas and showed you that you do not have to go hungry or eat small restrictive portions of food to get lean 
Please let me know if you loved the video. If you want some more on this four week cut, if you want more what I eat in a day, I'm up for it if you girls are keen, so let me know. Also, if you want some low calorie, high protein dessert recipes that are not just like a grab Kit Kat or protein bar, I have just posted three of the most insanely huge high protein, low calorie recipes, like a fudgy pumpkin, not a pumpkin, fudgy banana brownie, um, a big blueberry fridge tart and peanut butter ice cream all under 300 calories. So you definitely need those in your life. Go and check out that video. Don't forget to leave some love on the channel. Subscribe so you can get more fun ways to get lean on the channel. Love you so much. Thanks for joining. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you back here next time on the Lingle YouTube channel. Mwah.